and it was literally fine. Stay strong, you'll get through this. I know you're dying of cancer. It's hard to defend a dude who won't defend himself. Oh my God, how could he do that, you know? So that's the main allegation right there. I was still drunk either from alcohol or tiredness. Alright, so as you guys know, recently the popular Minecraft streamer YouTuber George Not Found has been accused of some absolutely horrible things. And after looking at everything, all of the evidence, the timeline, the context, literally everything I have spent time looking at, there is absolutely no reason why this guy should be getting cancelled and should be getting the backlash that he was getting. Uh, this is blowing my mind, okay? So this person, Katie Bugs, decided to go on a live stream where she made these accusations against George not found. I'll let her obviously say the parts of it that are important, but long story short, just to give you the TLDR before we get into it, this girl, Katie, was at VidCon with George Not Found and Dream, and she was hanging out with George Not Found, ends up drinking with him for one night, and then second night they drink. She offers to play this, like, truth or dare type of, in, like, you know what I mean? Like a truth or dare kind of sexual suggestive game. He probably assumes she's into him. They're both single. He's making a move. They're drunk. They're on a couch. They're cuddling for like an hour and then the, the part that everyone is losing their mind about the part that everyone literally is saying is the a word okay it's the a s s word but it's not ass it's ass Salt. Hopefully that was long enough pause for YouTube to not demonetize me. And so basically they're on the couch, they're cuddling, and then George, probably getting rizzy, he puts his hand on her waist, and then girl doesn't say anything, probably assumes it's fine because they were cuddling, they are hanging out and they're drinking, they're both single, and then he puts his like hand up her shirt probably, and is like inching up, m maybe to go to another area, I don't, ultimately this girl literally never said anything was wrong about this, until seven or eight months later, assuming this was VidCon 2023, which I'm, I'm almost certain it was, seven or eight months later when she decided that she, she never liked it in the first place. Now, the first bit of it is just giving her the, giving you guys the context that I already gave you. Basically just saying like, here's what happened, where it happened and whatever. Like just like general context for like VidCon. Then this this like party in Dreams Hotel room is kind of where we need to lock in. In the room and we were encouraged to drink some more as they offered the bottles to us. They said they would join us in drinking and insisted on drinking games and already drunk. We have to already f pause because these word choices, these adjectives are so, th she's reading off a note on her phone. She wrote this all down, meaning every single word choice here is 100% intentional. We were encouraged to, to, to drink more. They insisted we play drinking games. All right, let's think about this. If they're, if you guys are drunk and they have alcohol, they're gonna say, hey, you should drink some more. Is that like the way, the way it's even made to sound is subversive. It's made to sound like she was being preyed on, like some guy was like, like, oh, you should drink this, like maniacal and shit, right? And they insisted on playing drinking games. First of all, as we'll see in George Not Found's response, these drinking games is like a truth or dare style game on her phone. It's like who's most likely to or something like that. And this is all under the context of George Not Found thinking she was 21 anyway, because she had a 21 and over wristband and was drinking. The, the, the idea that he, they insisted on playing drinking games as again, that's just like like a totally manipulative way to frame things. I obviously we complied. I obviously How complied. Yeah. Like, comply. You comply with orders. If a cop says, put your hands up and don't move them, you comply with that order. The way she's making it sound is if this mother, is, is if is if this guy George not found was like, you drink this, or you're going home, or you're getting deported back to England, or, or something. You know what I mean? It's literally made to sound like this guy was 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 saying these things with total authority and not, not just suggestions. Like, he probably was drunk. He was like, you should drink this, drink this. And the way she's reading it, he said, drink this, drink this. Like, I can't get over this stuff, man. The wording here is so intentional. And you might say that like, oh, I'm not even hearing her side. I watched this all already. So I know like the conclusion that I've arrived to. And you'll see where I'm at and why I'm here after we get it, if, after we get through everything. And answered questions about each other, drinking a bunch. And the older guy sat right next to me while playing. Also, I the idea that I you need to drink if someone says you should drink is like insane. Like you were pressured to drink. Like, I don't really care. You were already drunk the night before and tonight. And then he goes like, hey, we got more alcohol. You, you should drink some. Am I supposed to think that's like horrible? I just don't care. I actually don't care at all. You were offered alcohol for free. These are probably nice bottles. You know, I know the kind of money Dream is making. Probably got some top shelf offering it to you guys. Probably wants it to be drank and drunk, dr dr drank, drunk. 
I don't know. And I'm, I'm supposed to sit here and be like, oh my God, that's horrible. The expensive champagne that was paid for, you were, you were offered to drink that? Oh my God, how could he do that, you know? I confused my nerves for excitement as I had never been around such a big creator before. I remember getting drunker and drunker and really tired around this time. It was about 3 a.m. Right before the incident, I had answered a question about my age. We were playing a drinking game and talking about sex, and I admitted to everyone in the room that I was 18 and that I was a virgin. Okay, so her being a virgin, like, I don't think has has to do with anything. Like, I don't like what I don't know what that has to do with the story. But anyway, again, admitting she's 18 as well. Like, what does what does that have to do with anything either? Legal age, but you, you're a virgin. Also, obviously, George not found refutes this. He says he didn't hear when this was said. So at that point, it's just he said, she says. But like, why even bring this up? Like, what what's the what's even the point of like saying this as if it's like he should have heard this and then acted differently? Like, you're 18, you're an adult, you're drinking, and then what, you're a virgin. Like, uh, is this like is this supposed to make people back off or something? You're an adult. You're not a minor. I remember back now to him answering questions during the game about back when he was 19. But either way, he, he refutes this. He says he didn't even hear what she said. So even if you want to call him weird for being 26 and, and hanging out with a 18 uh, year old, which I mean, make that point if you want. But like, ultimately, he claims he didn't even hear this. Also, she says freshly 18. Like what a weird way to say it. And when he was in college, noticing how my future was his past and I wondered how he felt sitting so close to me. It was a little after that when I resorted to playing games on my phone when it happened. Out of nowhere, I felt him slip his hand under my clothes, sitting next to me on the couch in front of everyone. All right, so this is like, the whole idea that this was like out of nowhere is like insane because like you, you guys are what? Like you're talking about sex, you're drinking and George will say in his response that he was cuddling with this girl for an hour and then put his hand on her hip. She doesn't say anything about it. He probably assumes he's in the clear. Then he puts his hand up her shirt. We don't even know how far his hand gets or whatever, but it's like, is that is that abuse? Is Are we living in a paradigm where that's abuse? Because if so, I think that's insane and deranged. Did she not tell him no? No, she literally didn't. But that's the whole point, is that it doesn't matter that she didn't say no, because Twitter is like, she's drunk and silence is not consent. Because that's just like, they're, they're pearl clutching the whole silence is not consent thing. Because to them, I guess you need consent to put your hand on someone at all. You can't give someone a pat on the back because silence is not consent. You can't give someone a hug because silence is not consent. You can't put your hand on someone's hip or waist who you were drinking with and talking about with and has and have been hanging out with and you're both single and you're cuddling and she doesn't say no because silence is not consent. Literally that makes no, I, I thought that phrase was like for intercourse, but I guess not. I guess they can just repurpose the phrase to have it mean whatever they want it to mean. So that's cool. He disguised it with a simple, are you ticklish? Disguised it? Disguised what? Putting his hand on you? If I put my hand on someone and I'm like, are you ticklish? And I and I go to tickle them. Is that even like, what, what does that even mean? Is, it, what's disguised about that? The idea is like, he disguised it as it, are you ticklish? If you actually, if he actually was gonna tickle you, is he supposed to tickle you through the air? I mean, he has to like put, he, you have to, it, I mean, tickling involves skin to skin contact. I feel like I'm like losing my mind here. And now, still staring at my phone, I was overly aware of the fact that we were in front of other people. The fact that everyone else was sitting around us, watching <coughs> us, including my best friend, and that his hand <coughs> was inching further to places I hadn't asked for it to be. He made a game <clears throat> out of my embarrassment where he could touch me. His, aunt, his hand was itching closer to places I hadn't asked it to be, okay? Well, you're cuddling, talking about hanging out, and then he puts his hand on your waist and then goes, are you ticklish? And then, and then inches it upward. And then now you're sobbing about it? You didn't tell him to stop? Okay. Certain areas to make me lose the phone game I was playing. I was scared and I felt sick, either from the alcohol or from his touch. It didn't matter because my mind was a blur. I didn't speak or move. I remember being- Both of them are wrong. She lied about her age, didn't set boundaries, and has no self-control. George is also British, so he's automatically wrong. <laughs> okay, that is the best take I've heard about this entire thing. I can get behind that. Afraid to even breathe. I stayed there for a while, hoping my stillness could make me disappear. I eventually had to stand up after many minutes for it to stop. <sighs> I was scared to leave or make a scene out of the embarrassment. Eventually, later in the night, I found myself alone with him and his friend. 
everyone else either passed out or sick. So that's the main allegation right there. She clearly also lied about her age. Yeah. The scenarios that could have played out that night. The what ifs. I was just so naive. And lucky or not, the night came to an end with just that. The night lasted until 6 a.m. I was still drunk, either from alcohol or tiredness. Again, like, what does that even f mean? I was still drunk either from alcohol or tiredness? You can't get drunk off being tired. I, I don't want to nitpick, like, this this thing. I mean, actually, actually, I do, because I think she's a liar. I was drunk off the tiredness. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, I stayed up past my bedtime of 8.05 p.m. I got to 9.30. I was literally so faded. I couldn't even walk straight. Bro, one time I stayed up till, till, till midnight. Oh, God, you should have seen me literally off the handy. We walked to the elevators where I didn't get on. He then pretended that the elevator was broken and that he couldn't leave, telling me to get in the elevator to prove it was broken. And then after a few minutes- This part of the allegation makes like the least sense. The dude who's walking her home or something and they have to get into an elevator. And what, what's the what's the insinuation here that like if they're alone in an elevator together, he's gonna like rape her or something? He ended the night with a guess I'm going now. Leaving so you can't like with a wounded puppy look. <sighs> he proceeded to Instagram message me for a bit after that. Simple flirting. Which they all were, which she, which she responded to. She responded to all of the flirting. There was literally nothing to indicate that to this guy that he did anything wrong. Again, like the, he conti he continued to message me after the thing. No, 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 no. You guys messaged each other because you only decided something was wrong with this night. Eight months later, you were absolutely fine with everything that happened. You guys talked to each other and it was literally fine. You guys flirted. He flirted with you. You flirted back. Literally nothing wrong with this. But yet here you are making this accusation actually insane why is she doing this i don't know but like i'm my guess is like her friends convinced her they like convinced her that when she was drunk something way bad happened to her that she wasn't conscious enough to experience because she was drunk and her friends are like getting in her head and, and trying to get her to spread this story simple messages ultimately filtered into nothing at the time of it all, I convinced myself I was lucky. What what had happened to you? What had happened to you? You got invited to the dream top floor of the hotel party where you got free alcohol and hung out with famous YouTubers and you flirted with one of them so he took the natural conclusion to put his hand on your hip? Yeah, I would say you were kind of lucky that you got that opportunity. I was excited to be around such big creators to be yeah. at that convention in general. That is lucky. I figured that's just how things were. That that was the price I had to pay to be there. That anyone would have loved to be in my position and that I should have appreciated it. Let's keep it a buck. If you were an MCYT fan and you had the chance to go and like, let's say you're 18 and you had the chance to party with Dream and George Not Found. Yeah, you would You would say, I would say you're pretty lucky. I, I'm pretty sure that's like something the Make-A-Wish kids would ask for and you're getting it because you're a, you're a, a, a you, the, the fucking, the boys deem you attractive. It was the first time anyone had ever touched me. Like the way she says it, the first time anyone had ever touched me. Like, like, like the first time anyone had literally ever like made contact with your skin. So you didn't have sex. You didn't rape you. He didn't assault you. The first time anyone had ever touched me. So no one's ever given you a high five. No one's ever given you a hug. Oh, shit, guys, I think my order is here. Wait, what did I order? Oh, a nothing burger. It's the nothing burger that I ordered. Bring this to the police and they'll be like, yeah, unfortunately, I don't think a dude putting his hand on your hip when you're cuddling for an hour is, uh, I don't think we can do anything with this. I'm sorry that this happened and that, like, you were fine with it until about, like, a week ago, but... I assured myself that I was just being sensitive about it all, that it wasn't a big deal, but assuring only can go so far. I felt dirty in a way that I couldn't wash off. What does that even mean? I felt dirty in a way I couldn't wash off? I don't even understand. Like, again, like the way she's talking about it is if this dude literally pulled that Jeffrey Epps Riz. Well, you got radiation infection. You have COVID, you can't wash it off. You had a tattoo or something. Like that, this is literally how people who get bad tattoos talk. I felt dirty and I couldn't wash it off. I couldn't help the way that my body reacted and flinched. Part of me still wanted to feel cool about it all, to convince myself I was lucky so I didn't have to think about it. I would reimagine the scenario in my head, replaying it again and again, what I could have done, what I could have said instead, but it didn't matter. Probably like, just get up, stop cuddling. But my thing, my feeling, my guess is she probably liked it. She probably liked being with George Not Found. But the fact that a year later, 
I can feel my heartbeat stop at the sight of him. I can feel my heartbeat stop at the sight of him. <laughs> okay. I can't stop thinking about who I was before at all. Who I'll never be again. Like, wh like what? Who I'll never be again? I'm sorry, the histrionics need to stop. This is hysterical. I don't know if I'll ever be the same. Listen to yourself. Who I was before, I had a hand placed on my hip. And who I'll be after, like, you'll be the same. You'll be I'm fine. You're traumatized from basically like the same tier of touch as like a hug. Actually insane. I don't know who I'll be after. Were you shot? Were you literally shot in like the head? And how some things you can't undo no matter how hard you try. Like what? Like what? Be specific. I never said anything out of pure embarrassment. Notice how she's not even actually talking about the thing. Like she spent two minutes talking about the actual thing. I was scared to speak out because I thought it was my fault. For what? My fault and that I didn't deserve to. Poor I was of him and all of those who surrounded him. I was scared of his power. I was scared because of what? Scared I was mistaken, remembering wrong. I hoped I was remembering wrong. Remembering wrong? But okay, I hoped I was remembering wrong and, and it wasn't the case. Okay, what was the case? He touched your hip. I was scared to go to any more conven conventions on the chance that I'd see him again. And he would do what? He literally is not talking about it. This is just filler. Just yapping nonstop. All aboard the Yap Express. Did someone order a yap at Chino? I'm haunted by him everywhere. This is insane. This is derangement. I'm haunted by him everywhere. Are you fucking kidding me? Haunted by him. She is literally acting like he's a serial rapist pedophile. Like he he goes up to actual children and like them. I didn't even want to log on to this app all over something that I never asked for. Okay, which was what? Notice how she never says it. The closest she'll say, to say it is like unwanted touching or whatever. I can't help but feel angrier all the time. Seeing the love I had once had for creation before it happened. This is so brain dead. And ignore it until it resurfaced as, resurfaced as a- It, 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 it. We're just gonna use it to refer to the thing because when I actually say what it actually is, it kind of makes me sound like a massive fucking drama queen. So anyway, that's what she came out with against him with. Like, look at this chat too. You're so strong and brave for speaking out. It was not your fault. This is not your fault. Like, what are we even talking about? Stay strong. She doesn't have fucking cancer. This is literally literally what they say. Stay strong. You'll get through this. I know you're dying of cancer, but you'll be fine. You're so brave and strong. I know chemo is a rough road. So then George says, I'll be doing a very serious stream later today. This post is just to make sure that I'm gathering all the information. Sorry. I will be... I will be doing a very serious stream later today. This post is to just make that... I will be doing a very serious stream later today. This post is to just make that clear. I'm gathering all the information and evidence to share. I have never and would never break someone's sexual boundaries or assault anyone. And then he gives his response. Next he says, this is a quote, resorted to playing games on her phone to avoid the awkward situation. Now, I just don't see how this is the case. She's implying that she is using her phone to essentially escape, you know, in such an awkward scenario that she's in. But that, that's just not how it happened, and this is why. She brought up the phone game as kind of a point. The The game was honestly the central point of the interaction at this part of the night. So it's like it's like this phone game, like, would you rather, who's most likely to type sh you know, where it's like, you, you know, you play with girls, it's like, who's most likely to, to, to kiss me on the mouth? Who's most likely to give me a wet, sloppy kiss? Ultimately, point is, most of it is he said, she said, but the part that is confirmed does not prove that he's like SAing people at all, okay? So then Katie posts this thing on Twitter, responding to like the video and stuff, saying like, he admitted to touching me, that I was drunk, that I verbally didn't consent. Am I missing something if George himself confirmed he inappropriately touched her? This is so ridiculous. What does that even mean inappropriately? Again, like this is literally like, am I, if I'm with someone and I'm assuming they like me because we're partying two nights in a row and we're flirting and we're play fighting and stuff. Am I supposed to be like, is it, okay? is this okay? Is this okay? Is this okay? Is this okay? Is it cool if I hug you? Do I have consent to hug you? Do I have consent to look at you? Do I have consent to breathe? Can I breathe?
<sighs> but yeah, no, I, I didn't have consent to breathe. So, you know, I couldn't do that. But this whole context is basically we're supposed to digest this under the assumption that like what he did was fucking re reprehensible. And I just don't believe that. And an anarchist, George seems pre sounds pretty pathetic. Yeah, the fact that he can't stand up for himself at this point is fucking, it's just kind of sad. And look, and then he goes on. Since reading Katie's newest post, my perspective on that night and my overall conclusion has massively changed as she introduced new information that I was not aware of at all before. What new information? Like, what, what the fuck? could really change what like did you secretly like put something in their butt i'm so sorry f you f you f you f you f you f you you fucking suck f you you fucking caved spineless this guy was drunk and put his hand on a girl's waist after cuddling for an hour and now the internet has convinced him that he's epstein level bad literally bro deserves to get canceled for this cringe response imagine apologizing to someone who's trying to ruin your life for cloud and all you did was cuddle lmao what a cuck true it's hard to defend a dude who won't defend himself with that being said, if someone just seeing everything, there's literally, I, I just don't know how people are like not getting it. This is what he did. Just reenactment. I'm calling for a trade embargo between the US and the UK. 